And welcome to your gold market update charts of interest for today, Monday the 25th of November. Hope you had a great weekend. Let's have a look at what's coming across the news today. Of course, on Friday, we had a mixed session with it being a half day because of Black Friday. It was low volume and really didn't do very much indeed. The Dow was slightly up, the Nasdaq was slightly down, the S&P 500 somewhere in the middle of those two. It's really this week that we need to keep an eye on as it ramps up. We are seeing US markets at key levels uh, what 4000 on the S&P 500 and 12000 on the Nasdaq it is a big data week ahead the major factor impacting on market sentiment this morning is the China covid situation we're still seeing an escalation in cases and of course lockdowns and that's impacting on many asset classes us futures have pulled down because of that uh, information from china and asian indices are all lower Today, the SX is down around 0.35%, but is fluctuating quite significantly throughout the day. European equity futures are suggesting a weaker open later. US dollar index on the back of that equity futures weakness is holding the 200 EMA. It is slightly up in Asia. The Japanese yen is outperforming on some hawkish comments from the Bank of Japan, and that's done well against most currency pairs. Gold is slightly lower, around about 17.50, and underneath it's 200 EMA and all it is testing year-to-date lows. We've seen pullback in copper and other base metals on demand concerns, a result of what's happening in China. And the VIX has risen slightly, but it's still fairly near three-month lows, which suggests that once this situation is resolved, to, to some degree, then we should see a market that feels okay. Particularly in light of the inflation data, of the softening of the Fed stance to some degree, that all bodes well going forward into December. Bitcoin remains neutral as it did for most of last the end of last week after a significant pullback. But crypto currencies generally remain in turmoil and possibly not a very safe place to be from an investment point of view right now. On the data front, it's a fairly quiet day before we ramp up later in the week. We've got US jobs and PEC. PCE data, which is the major inflation measure the Fed like to look at. This morning we had Australian retail sales missed expectations and in fact went into negative territory, which possibly will make the RBA happy in terms of spending slowing down a little bit. A couple of charts have caught our eye today. So if we look at the yen action, we've referenced this before, the yen was very strong on the back of those hawkish comments from the BOJ right across the board. The euro is a typical example. So we've got this big sell-off in a very short space of time, almost 100 pips on the Euro-Yen. We've found a bottom at a previous support at 143.47. And you can see there, markets are unclear about what to do next. This may create a nice opportunity to the upside, potentially, uh, if we break 143.76, so around about 25 pips from where we are right now, uh, and could produce a nice run to the upside. And you'll see that across all pairs. Uh, the Aussie yen is an example again. Once again, we're trying to find a bottom uh, right now uh, and possibly a move up towards 93 is on the cards. If we break that, we could see some additional buy-in possibly up around 60 pips. On the SX, we're going to have a quick look at ALX in the industrial space, uh, Atlas Arteria. And you can see there we're back up towards the 200 EMA. We just need to have a little push through that. And then the upside on this is quite significant. You can see it's trading around that key psychological level of $7. Um, but if we get upside in this, we could see this up as much as 8 or 9% in the first instance. And possibly in the medium term, up around 12% if we get some real buy momentum coming into this stock. A couple to consider today and be interesting to see what the market reaction will be when the US opens later today. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.